Today we're going to dis discuss determining whether a voltage is real or a ghost voltage with our Fluke 117 multimeter. In our first, in our first measurement, we're going to go with a known good source with a good ground. And we'll go ahead and turn this to voltage. And as you can see, we're getting a 120 reading. In our second step, we'll go ahead and turn this to the low impedance setting and you're still going to have a true voltage reading of 120 volts. In our second instance, we're going to take a measurement with something that has an improper ground. We'll go back to our voltage setting. We'll go ground to hot. And you can see that I'm getting a low voltage reading. Now if I go ahead and remove move that ground over to the neutral side, I'm getting 120 volts. If I go back to my ground to hot, I'm at 4 volts. This is very confusing. Is this a true voltage or not? If I go to low impedance, you can see I'm at 0. So thus, this is telling me that I am experiencing a ghost voltage from hot to ground. And this is how to determine whether or not you're getting a true voltage or a ghost voltage with a Fluke 117. 11 measuring functions, the Southwire 130 series residential pro multimeters have what it takes to get the job done. A built-in work light adds extra convenience when working in dimly lit areas. Models 13070T and 13090T also offer true RMS readings and low Z for eliminating false readings from ghost voltage. Other features include an easy to read backlit display, a category three safety rating, and a rugged waterproof and dust tight housing that withstands tough work environments. In addition, the 13090T provides a new way to take readings using Bluetooth technology. See our video on the Southwire Map mobile app for more detail. Southwire, built for durability, built for reliability, built for work. options on my Fluke 87 and how do I activate them? There's several unique settings that you can work with your Fluke 87 that are enabled on power up and these are activated by holding in one of the function buttons while you turn on the meter. For example, if I want to disable the automatic power off, I would hold in the yellow button and turn it on. This will disable so the meter will stay on otherwise it would automatically power itself off after 30 minutes. Another function that you can enable is smoothing by holding in the range key and turning it on. This will smooth out the display so you take multiple readings before it actually displays them. One of the other power up options is if the beeper, you would like to disable the beeper, I hold in the continuity key, turn it on, and that will disable the beeper. One function that is very useful if you're margining resistors or want to see relative measurements if I hold in the relative button and turn it on, what it does is it turns the bar graph into zoom mode. So now the bar graph is going to show a much amplified scale. If I hit relative, now it'll take the current reading, put it in the middle of the bar graph. If the reading goes higher, it'll go this way. 
If the reading goes lower, it'll go this way. So you can actually see how a signal is varying around the initial value that you took. So these are power-up options that are, available, that are available on your Fluke 87.5. And as our founder, John Fluke, said, the customer is always entitled to a little bit more than he paid for. So this is, these are functions that are in your Fluke 87 that you may have not known how to take advantage of.